Well, hello everybody. We'll try this again. Uh, I don't know what happened. Uh, when I started this video, this saw was down. We put the fuel line in, uh, cleaned the tank, mounted the tank, uh, getting the front bolt in the tank, fixed the wrench and all that stuff. Uh, I was almost at 15 minutes of filming and was fixing to, uh, to stop the filming to uh, reset. And I looked up and the camera had stopped rolling. And, uh, I went in to see where it stopped so I could just start back and it's gone. It, it, it stopped recording and, and, and threw the video out. Why I have no idea. I'm probably going to wind up having to get a new phone. Cause after, uh, after that bout with the YouTube going away and then coming back, I, I updated a lot of things. And after that update, my phone has not worked right since. Uh, everything that's been updated, it's all messing up and going on. I, I spent a little time getting a wrench and, and, fixing all this stuff up to show y'all and it was it was a actually a you know working on being a pretty nice video but for some reason it's all gone now i don't know why do y'all remember this boat we had a hard time getting out of this house yeah i'm gonna fix that so that we don't have that problem again well, that was terrible I guess I gotta keep a little better eye on my timer and make sure what's going on. Of course, it ain't gonna matter if it, if it loses the video altogether. It won't make no difference whether I'm watching it or not. But uh, we're gonna put a little bit of this anti-seize on here so uh, we don't have this problem the next time somebody goes to take it out in order to be loose. Well, it ought to be able to be screwed out anyway. If we can get screwed back in. It was tight. Oh, it was tight. Corroded up in there. Well, everything was a going okay. I hate that, but ain't nothing I can do about it. Try to make sure it's clean. This thing's been up just a little bit, but it's not real bad. I don't know how you bend these things up, but this one is bent up some. Sure y'all still rolling. Of 
course now. on there. I always put a little grease on them burns. They don't get a whole lot of don't get a whole lot of lube. Put something high temp, high quality on there. That way at least it'll have something to help lubricate it while it's running. Just remember the more time it spends idling, the more time it, that bearing's being used. So, run your saw. Make sure that looks okay. Looks a little weird about that. I don't know what it is. It's almost like that washer is too big. Now give me just a second. I'm going to go look in my box. I found one of the thinner washers. Yeah. I like that one better. That washer right there seemed like it was too thick. Sometimes people change them out because they lose one or whatever. I like the feel of that better. Everything seems to be tucked up in there quite nicely. Everything is missing from my table from where we've been working. <laughs> I'll be right back. There we go. Gonna put a little, I'm gonna get me a new can for y'all. Y'all, if y'all, if y'all ain't used this stuff, try it. I'm not sponsored by them in any way. I paid for this and I pay for it every time I get it. And it's not the cheapest in the world. 
but I wasn't looking for cheap. I was looking for something that worked. So. That straw in there. Makes a world of difference. The most springs get dry up in there. And when they get dry, they don't work real well. I put a little bit on the paws. Because <clears throat> y'all know, y'all know them old paws get dry. And look here. I'm going to show you all this. This ain't on all of them. It's on some of the SPs and stuff like that. You see the, the height difference in that screw? That screw's shorter. That screw goes in this hole right here because it goes into that uh, manual oiler. And if you put one of these in it, you'll twist the screw off or you will... Uh, Break the oiler before you ever get that screw tightened up. Uh, it, and it's only on certain ones. And the only way you can really figure it out is just by checking it. Because the first time I ran across it, I didn't realize it. I didn't break it, but it was a, I couldn't figure out why it wouldn't go. And I kept trying to figure it out. And I pulled it off a couple of times. Uh, Finally, I got to, I, I went to thread it with threader. It wouldn't go any farther. And I was like, well, heck, that hole ain't deep enough. And I found out that there was a shorter bolt. And I uh, had to make my own because I didn't have a shorter one because I was putting this all together from scratch. And uh, I got it. But, uh, I've run across these that are broke. Where people's run stuff in them and trying to get it straightened out, mess them all up. It's just terrible. Most acts like it ain't gonna go in there in the right direction. I'll loosen these back up just a hair. Of course, it might have been running there in the wrong direction to start with. Maybe my brain just ain't working like it ought to. That hole feels like it's not going in the right place. Man, I put this other screw in there. Because it acts like it needs to go down this little farther. I'll put this screw in. I can pull it down just a little bit more. Maybe. That's about as far as it's going to go right there. It threads in there awful easy, them first few threads. But I think that's the power we got. Somebody has run it in there a little crooked before and realized it wasn't going to work and tried again. Get down these last few. few screws. It's a little cumbersome trying to get to them. He's still rolling this time. I don't know what happened. 
my phone has been doing this thing where it it glitches out and wraps everything sideways and then flicks it back over in the screen. I don't know why it's doing that. None of these cover bolts act like they want to line up. That one there doesn't want to line up. I'm take all of them back loose. This is one of the worst ones I've ever seen for the screw holes lining up. Try and turn it where y'all can see it. it. Makes it a little awkward for me. this up with my right hand because I can get it a bit tighter handle them right quick and then we'll stop it and start over again and we're going to put a kit and a carburetor and all that stuff so uh, just trying to hurry up and get this finished we'll have our first video for today see how many we can get done and we'll have a run of saw here shortly well for y'all it'll probably be a day or so because I'm going to I'm going to try to put more out while everything's going like it's going so y'all have more to watch. And I want y'all to actually watch it and not skip through it. Don't skip through to the cutting videos or we go make them. Because it helps if you watch all of them. You know how we got to where we're going. <laughs> I'm just scraping this junk off here, y'all. It'll take me a little minute. A little bit of crap left on it that didn't come off. This all this stuff don't always come off. And there's 20. 
And we got it. All right. There you go. She's going to be. Yeah. She's going to be right. All right. I'm going to stop it. We'll see you on the next one. Y'all have a good day. I'll hop her out.